In this video, we are going to look at percent composition. So I have three example questions to show you. Okay, so the first question reads, find the percent composition of all elements in CRF3. So what is percent composition? Percent composition is, is practically a concentration. Um, the thing you're trying to find is the numerator of a fraction. Uh, the piece that you're trying to find and the denominator is the whole and you represent the relationship between the piece and the whole as a percentage. That's essentially what we're doing. So let's have a go with this first question. So we'll answer one. Okay, so we notice here that we have a 1 to 3 ratio. The ratio of chromium to fluorine is 1 to 3. So I have one uh, chromium, so one lot of chromium, and the weight of chromium, the atomic weight, is 52.00 uh, gram per mole. So the weight of one chromium and the multiple of how many chromium I have, that's my numerator. My denominator is the formula weight of the entire thing. So if I take three fluorines, add them together, add chromium, uh, I should get a mass of 109 grams even. Okay. So this number here is going to be Cr plus F plus F plus F. Add them all together. So the piece is the numerator, the whole is the denominator. And then you express the whole answer as a percentage, and that's it. So this equals 47.70. Um, and then we've got a couple of non-significant figures here. And then I use this to round, right? So I know that I'm dividing, so I'm good for four sig figs. So I propagate non significant digits five and six i look at the first digit and because it's greater than five i can add one to that previous digit so my final answer is 47.71 um, percent chromium okay so that was chromium Let's do the same for fluorine. So for fluorine, this time I have three, lots of fluorine, and fluorine has a weight of 19 gram per mole. And my denominator is the same, obviously. Gram per mole, obviously that cancels. It's a unitless percentage, and this gives me 52.2935. I look at this first non-significant digit, it's less than 5, so it adds 0 to the last significant digit. So my final answer is 52.29% fluorine. And within rounding error, obviously the percent chromium plus the percent fluorine in this case should give 100%. And we can see that indeed uh, 52.29 and 47.71% indeed does give us 100% total. So these are our two answers for that question. All right, so pretty straightforward. Um, having said that, let's look at another example. Question two reads, a 14.8 gram sample <clears throat> contains 3.83 grams of iron and 10.97 grams of bromine. Determine the percent composition of both elements. All right, so I'm gonna find that question in my notes. All right. So let's, let's do it. Answer two. 
we have, so for iron, we have 3.83 grams of iron. Now the whole sample we assume is the collection of both. Um, oh, sorry, no, we're actually told the sample here. I'm sorry, I wasn't reading my own question. 14.8 gram sample, whatever the sample is. As a percentage, these grams cancel. And we have two point, so no, we don't, we have 25. 25.878. Uh, we're only good for three sig figs, so I can round that. So that seven adds a one to the eight. So we have 25.9% iron. Symbol for iron is Fe. And then we just do the same for bromine. So a slightly different presentation in this question, but no fundamental changes. 10.97 gram of bromine, 14.8 gram sample. As a percentage, we get 74.12 Add a couple of extra digits from your calculator. This one doesn't do anything other than add a zero to the previous number. So we get 74.12% bromine. Oops. Didn't mean to obscure my answer with my box. Okay, and as we can see, uh, if we add these two numbers together within rounding effects, we would get 100%. Okay, let's go on to our third and final question in this video. Slightly different presentation again. This question reads, ethane, which has the formula C2H6, contains 79.9% carbon and 20.1% hydrogen. Calculate the amount of hydrogen in a... 350 gram sample of ethane. When you see something like this, we know it's three sig figs. That dot is to tell you that all of these digits are significant. Okay, so that's what that means. Okay, so we know what the whole is, we know what the piece is. Um, So let's see, we have to get the percentage of hydrogen. So answer three. So let's see, we are just gonna convert to grams again. So um, let's see a good way to present this. Well, what we know is that 20.1% of the whole thing is hydrogen. So that tells us that tells us that 20. Remember, we can convert um, remember we can convert um, percentage to gram, right? That's something we've seen before. So 20.1%, if we convert that to gram. we get an equality 20.1 gram of hydrogen is equal to a hundred gram sample. In this case, um, the sample is ethane, but that's as effectively what we know from converting percentage to gram and from having a percentage to begin with. All right, so that kind of teases us in the correct direction leads us, not teases us, sorry, leads us in the correct direction. Okay, so let's set some kind of dimensional analysis up here. So we can use our equality. I know I want grams of hydrogen. So I'm going to write gram of hydrogen. Um, 
and I can just write from my equality up here 20.1 gram of hydrogen is equal to 100 gram sample and I can write gram sample up here and then I can write my input which was 350 gram of sample so it's 350 multiplied by 20.1 divided by 100 I get 70.3 Five zero. I'm only good for three sig figs. Now this five, what does it do to the three? Well, uh, the what? How we're going to adopt here is um, let's see. Let, let's see. So imagine we have um, a significant figure X and non-significant figures Y and Z. So we're going to adopt a pretty strict rounding rule and then we'll apply this rule to the last answer. If Y um, is less than 5, we know to add 0 to x. All right, we know how to do that. But what if y, uh, and also we know if it's greater than 5, right? We would add 1 to x. But what if y is equal to 5? Well, then you've got two things. You add 0 to x if x is even and you would add 1 to x if x is odd. Okay. So these are the rounding rules that we're following in this class. So we're going to adopt these rounding rules. So now we can see if we apply these rounding rules to this problem that we have a 5 but x in this case is 3 so we would add 1 to make 3 an even number, so the final answer would be 70.4 gram of hydrogen. Okay, so we adopted the first of the two possible options. Uh, sorry, we adopted the bottom of the two possible options uh, because x was odd as presented. Okay, and that will, that will conclude this video. Um, on percent composition.